everyone and welcome back to my studio. Today I'll be showing you how I painted a red bell pepper still life with oil paints. I will link the reference photo in the description below as well as a list of the colors that I used. As usual I use a rough sandpaper to prep my canvas. I lay in the initial drawing with a thin layer of oil paint thin with lots of Gamsol. You can also use odorless mineral spirits if that's what you have. Later on, I do add in some liquid to my medium, but you can uh, use linseed oil if that's what you have as well. Or I think that there is an equivalent to liquid that is made by Gam Gamblin as well. So this is my first time doing a painting a la prima style, meaning in one sitting. So I found it quite challenging. If you've ever tried this, you know that painting wet into wet with oils can be really frustrating because as you attempt to layer your paint, you actually end up pulling off more paint with your brush than laying it down. The trick with a la prima is to work on a certain area for a while, then move on to a completely different area in order to give the previous sections time to tack up a little bit. The other really important thing that I learned in order to avoid pulling off paint is to observe the fat over lean rule. What that means is that you lay down your thinnest layers of paint first, meaning the oils that you've thinned with Gamsol are paint thinner. As you move on to the next layers, gradually add in a fat agent such as linseed oil or in my case liquid. I really like liquid um, because it works similarly to linseed oil in the fact that it helps to make the oil paint glide easier but it is a fast drying agent so a lot of the times that you use the liquid you can come back and that layer of oil paint is generally dry within about 24 hours so i do start my initial layers again with Gamsol or paint thinner, but then my middle layers, I would say I use about one part Gamsol with one part liquid, and then mix that in with my paint to make it workable. The last layer or so, I generally just mix the paint in with pure liquid, and then my final highlights and details, I usually lay in with pure oil paint or paint mixed with very little liquid. As usual, I keep referring back to my reference photo and start by laying in my darks, followed by my mid-tones, and then finally my lightest tones. I do skip around the painting in order to give each area some time to tack up so that I won't have any trouble laying down um, more layers of paint later on. I normally block in my colors from the beginning without paying much attention to details. I'm basically just trying to get the canvas covered in the beginning. Um, the details should always be put in last. I do use blending brushes, otherwise known as mop brushes or bunny brushes, a lot. This helps to soften and erase some of the brush strokes but I do like to leave some in here and there as I feel this helps to give the piece a painterly effect, which I really like. When I spend several days on an oil painting, I tend to like to tighten up the details as I go along, um, but I feel like painting in one sitting allowed me to keep a more loose painterly style or more like forced me to keep a loose painterly style. Uh, because it is really difficult to put in fine details when you're painting wet into wet. So I am curious to know how many of you have tried painting a la prima and which techniques do you prefer? Let me know. I'm curious. So after some last minute adjustments and the addition of some fine details, I called this painting finished. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time.